In this video, I'm going to show you the best man coverage defense in Madden 22. What is going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we share with you every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I said, you can always unsubscribe at a later date. And I also wanted to let you know that I've released my 46 defense ebook and the 4-6 defensive guide is the best defense that I have found up to this point in the season um, in terms of coverage defense and really slowing down a lot of what the most effective offenses that people are running are doing in this game. That being said, I'm really, really excited to bring this to you. This is kind of a breakthrough. It's a concept that I developed back in Madden 13, but this is something that is very, very good and can certainly apply to Madden 22. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you. This is how to make man coverage great again. All right, here's how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments and we're going to put our flats on 30. Everything else we're going to put on default. Just put your flats on 30. That's the only adjustment you're going to make. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out in the, you're going to put the two man under in your, in your audibles. If you don't want to run it from cover to man, honestly, what you could do, actually, you know what, we can actually do this. Now that I think about it, let's, uh, let me see. We can do this from, I'm gonna show you both. I'll show you both versions. We can do it from cover to man. We can also do this from Mike Blitz Zero. They're both really good, okay? So let's just dive into it. You're gonna come out in the 335 normal defense, okay? 335 normal defense, really important. And you're gonna come out in whatever you want. Cover four drops normally what I come out in. And then we're gonna audible into the 335 wide. Why? Because we wanna get safeties at the linebacker position. Okay, so let's just show you kind of a standard gun bunch. We're just gonna come out in the play. Um, we could come out in anything. Let's just come out in mesh post. All right, here's how you can do this. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna audible down to cover two man. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both of our safeties in cloud flats and press coverage. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take our safeties and we're gonna put them in man coverage on the two people that we unmanned up. So you see King's gonna cover Devontae Adams and Jackson's gonna cover, uh, I think Devin Funches on the right. Then all we gotta do is blitz our user, we're gonna user him and we're gonna take that linebacker and man him up on the tight end. And then last thing is just to drop a QB spy uh, especially for man coverage, you definitely want to be dropping a QB spy and then shade your coverage inside and over top. Inside and over top, super important. And what you're going to see is this is a absolute bag of a coverage defense. Everything is going to be bagged. As you see there, we're getting turnovers in man coverage. Who would have thought in Madden 22? This is my favorite way to play man defense right now. It absolutely bags everything. The reason why I like this so much is because number one, it's not necessarily super obvious what you're doing. You've got some glitchiness into this man coverage. The other reason why I like this is let's take uh, trips tight end, for example. Um, and I would, here's how I would defend trips tight end. It's really kind of a subtle thing, but you have to pay attention to what I'm going to recommend. When I play trips tight end, I run the same defense, flats on 30, everything else on default. But watch what's going to happen whenever you face trips tight end. If you go to main coverage, look at this. See how I'm in Mike Blitz zero and they're not going? Now, if I were to go to man coverage, look at that. See that guy move? Watch me go back to Mike Blitz zero. Look at that. Way different. So when I play trips tied in, that's where I love to go to Mike Blitz zero. And what I do against trips tied in, is specifically for Mike Blitz zero, is we're going to basically um, put both outside corners in clouds. Then we're going to take that blitzing linebacker on the right. We're going to man him up on the tight end, and we're going to shade coverage up. Now, from there, really, really important, really, really important, man up the square receiver onto the circle uh, guy, man up that safety onto triangle, and then man up triangle onto square, and now you've got great man coverage against this, and the beauty of this is they're not going to switch. So if they motion, let's say they motion someone, right? They motion this guy. Now, look. You still can keep that man to man. That's not a big deal because we got a 30 yard cloud there. If we wanted to change it, we could. If we wanted to change it, we could. We could simply take the safety and man him up on whoever was motioned over. 
And then what we can do is take the defensive lineman and man him up on the running back and then uh, drop our guy into a QB spy. So as you see, we create basically the same coverage that we already had. And the beauty of this is the balance of it. It looks exactly like the zone coverage, which is what makes this so effective. And if they try to run a crossing route on this play, they are going to get absolutely bad, just like that right there. Those 30-yard cloud flats, when they are ran from the cornerback position, really important, when they are ran from the cornerback position, they will lock people down. Let me show you how I'm going to do this against Bunch Tight End. I think Bunch Tight End has probably the best corner route in the entire game. So let me show you. Nickel 3 through 5. Now, when I defend Bunch Tight End, you're going to see I'm going to Mike Blitz 0. Why? Because this cornerback stays on that side. So cloud flat. Cloud flat. And then with, with these compression sets, it's easier because all you got to do is just man the linebackers up on whoever's unmanned up. That's it. Now, let's say let's say they motion, um, like, for example, let's say they motion the square receiver, which is actually really unlikely. Most of the time, they're not going to do that. If they do that, take a look at what's going to happen with your coverage. All you need to do is take the safety and man him up on square and take the linebacker and man him up on triangle. That's it. Real quick adjustments. You're shading your coverage up. Watch how this just absolutely smothers the crossing route. Absolute, absolute bag on crossing routes. Mike Blitz Zero. I love to do it out of Mike Blitz Zero, especially against compression. If they're in a spread formation, let me show you how I do it against gun spread. So if they're in if they're in spread, I like to do Mike Blitz Zero because the linebackers don't move. See how the linebackers don't move? Now what I could do with this, really easy, just drop these guys into their clouds, and then really important, really, really important, man the safeties up on the outside guys, and then man the linebackers up on the inside guys. So you see, right, something like this, and then you could drop something like this right here, right? Really good coverage, and you'll see here, this is this will really, really makes spread hard to run because spread relies on crossing routes to beat any coverage. And as you see, we're absolutely bagging the crossing route. Okay, absolutely taking that away. So I love this defense. This is my preferred way to play man coverage right now. I think it's very safe if you shade coverage over top. Just remember that your user needs to be concerned with skinny posts. You're looking for crossers. You're looking for work over the middle whether it's a skinny post, a halfback angle route, or something. But other than that, great defense. Just watch out for that stuff over the middle. Obviously, if we're running any of our other defenses, we're going to completely bag the stuff over the middle. So, you know, it's kind of a give and take. This is how I like to play man coverage right now. I think it's one of the most effective and underrated ways to get really good man coverage concepts on your field that can stop some of the bigger things that man coverage can give up, like a crosser or a corner or a um, you know a motion over whatever. This is a pretty solid man coverage. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide, or I'm sorry, not 335 wide, even though 335 wide is kind of the base defense, my full 46 defense, because we have stuff from Dollar in there. We're going to be adding some stuff in from some other formations. The link is in the description of this video. You can get the full defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Again, that's on sale. Go down to the description, click the link in the description. It'll take you right to the website, and we'll get you all squared away within five minutes and get you running the best defense in the game. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that this video was helpful.